Where's your back, Forrest? I've been running out of stuff to pad our airtime with. Peggy, you work in radio. Forrest, I'm stressed. I mean, really. How are we supposed to keep a show going with all this happening? Beats me. But we gotta do it and we're going to. <sighs> You're right. Damn, have our listeners been listening What's to this one plan? song? I think. I want it! Virginia back. Alright, I'll get her you on know, the line. It's mine now. I'm keeping it right here where I want it. Yeah, fucking God. We've been Hello letting the again, people Gallows listen Creek. to this song for this too fucking long. Forrest Nash. We're circling closer to the truth behind tonight's events. To this end. Yeah, one song's been playing the whole fucking time. Earlier callers, Virginia Sullivan. Fremen Plunker here. Oh, God. Who's this? Is it you? Goose. Plunker, hey, it's the Radio Man, Forrest Nash. Radio Man? What's up? Solving mysteries, saving lives. The huge. Right, 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 right on. Plunker, what are you doing? No, in what, house? dude? Sh she asked if stay to keep an eye out for that whistling turd so we're hanging out bro <laughs> well that's uh that's big of you plunker no <laughs> it's nothing can i speak to virginia sure thing radio man <gasps> i'll just go get her who is this hey virginia it's forrest i'm i'm glad you're still okay oh forrest Sorry, I'm still jumpy. Uh, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. You've been through a lot. I'm so sorry this happened to you, Virginia. I thought I was. I thought... Easy. We're not calling to talk about earlier. We're calling because we think you can help us understand why this is happening tonight. Me? What would I know? Does the name Clive mean anything to you? Clive? No. I don't know that name. What are you asking about this for? You mentioned that name earlier when you called us the first time. I don't know what I said then. I was petrified, Forrest. Clive's the janitor at our station, and we know you spoke to him in the past. Forrest, please. You don't know what you're doing. He'll come for me. Virginia, it's okay. Clive won't be coming after you. We think Clive's dead. Dead? But isn't he? He's the whistling I don't man need... Forest. Okay. We found evidence to the contrary. But it's true. And we found your autopsy reports for George Barrow. How? I saw him destroy them. Well, he didn't. I don't know if he kept them or made copies or what, but we found them. And we know it's related to what's happening tonight, which is why we called you. Why did you write a false report? I... All right. One day, I came into work to find a... a boy on my slab. And as I finished the autopsy, this man, Clive, he just burst in. And he started making demands to give over the reports, to falsify what I found. Of course I said no, but, well, when someone wants to make you do something, they can use the carrot or the stick. For me, he used both. You see, my sister is sick. She has a chronic condition that's never going away. It's expensive mm -hmm. to treat, and it was getting to where I couldn't afford it. And Clive promised me that his employer would pay for my sister's treatment if I did what he said. And that if I ever spoke about this, he'd beat me to within an inch of my life. Damn, I don't dude. know why he had me do it, but my sister needed me. You have to understand, she needed me. We understand. Thank you, Virginia. That was brave. God, I just want this nightmare to end. This will help end it, Virginia. Thank you. Stay safe, Virginia. Hey. 
it's fine so either way, man. It's Virginia just, is tied I don't, up mind, I don't this. mind you Clive talking threatened in chat, her to keep bro. Quiet it's just about some gaming's a little but for who? irritating. Why cover up these details? We could try Sandra. What would Sandra know? I don't know, but we have to start Come somewhere. Hang out, have fun. Anyway, That's all I care just about. be careful when you're talking to her. Don't push too hard. We don't want her to hang up. I'll be careful. All right, calling her now. Hopefully Wait, she's at her calling? jazz studio. Oh, this bitch. Aha, Forrest, you're through. Hello, this is Sandra at Jazz Pizzazz Jazz Studio. Who is this? Hello again, Sandra. It's Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And you're live on air. <laughs> oh, I always thought folks called into a radio show, not the other way around. How jazzy. What can I do for you? Uh, well, <laughs> we're trying to understand what's behind the attacks tonight. We had a few questions. Why, Forrest, of course. Heck, after the way you saved my life, I'd say yes to just about anything you asked. That sounds nice. Really? Well, that sounds nice. I might just call you back Why tomorrow. Why did he say it like that? You got my number. But what about tonight? Is there anything you want to talk about right now? Remember why we called, Forrest. Of course. Do you know why the Whistling Man might have targeted you? Ha! As far as I could tell, he was just a knife-wielding psycho with superhuman cardio. He didn't chase after that. anybody. Right. Well, we think he might be chasing specific people. People who know about the death of a boy named George. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Sorry. Are you sure about that? Are you keeping are you keeping uh, secrets, Andrew? Have you had to keep are quiet about anything? <laughs> Any secrets you've had to keep? What would I have to keep quiet about? I don't know. I mean, could be that you've seen something or heard something. I never saw anything. And even if I did, what would that matter? And it, and it was years ago. You okay? I'm not gonna die. Sandra, you okay? are you okay? It was years ago. We know. We know, Sandra. You do? I'm being nice here. You know about? Uh, yes. Of course. <sighs> this studio is my life. After I found the body in the river, I couldn't lose my studio. Hey, do you yo? understand? Hey, yo? Sure? Sure. I understand. The what the fuck? Up, he said he'd stop if I just needed to keep quiet. And everything would be okay. okay. Soon I might need to take a small break for food. That's in a little bit. Uh, of course. Of course. We understand. I mean, it's not like I killed him. What was the harm in saying I found him in the reservoir instead of the river? Right? Hey, yo. I'm sorry. I can't do this. And she's gone. On me again. I don't think that could have gone any better. Yep. You truly did great, Forrest. Well, folks, if anyone out there has any thoughts new, on what's going on tonight, I want the fucking new please, one. Call in. That's good timing. We've got a call waiting just this second. God damn it. Welcome to 189.16 The Scream with me, your host. Forrest Nash. It's fine, man. Hi, Forrest. I know this is really. I don't mind help, but I just like if I don't mind the help. I wondered if you could send this. I don't mind the help if I ask for it or if I genuinely am stuck. It's just in that moment I was just. Uh, what the fuck am I saying? Sure, why you know not? What? What? I'd welcome a change of pace. I'd be glad to. Thank you, Boris. He's my uncle Ronnie. His first name's Peter. Yeah, no, I'm. Like I'm Okay, now I am going to get rid of this. He always had salt and pepper hair. Even as a kid, can you believe it? Folks I'm fine for the funny little ha-ha banter. Pepper. Uh, thanks for the history lesson. Is there anything besides happy birthday you would like to say to Mr. Pepper? Oh my god damn it! Yes! Tell him he Oh yeah, shit, brand new riot has to go to the trash couch. You son of a bitch! Stop calling! <laughs> you son of a bitch! Forest. Let's just move on. No, We've no. already got another crash out. This is 189.16, The Scream. I'm Forrest Nash. You're on the air, caller. <laughs> caller. <sighs> Ponty. Ponty's Pizza! 
God. Fucking damn it. Rain or sleet or whistling man will be there. <laughs> Fucking Ponty. <laughs> Beat the time. Forest? Are you okay? Beat the time. <sighs> Forest? I hope. The whistling man gets in with his own pizza slicer. If I Jesus, okay. Forrest? If sorry. I'm sorry, that was that was too much. It's I okay. I want to still figure out things myself. But I will ask if I'm not a hundred percent sure. Tonight, anyway. Then I think wholeheartedly, give me your take We've got on another it. Another call whenever you're ready, folks. Don't spend your money at Pawnee's Pizza. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Moving along, I'd like to welcome another caller to 189.16, The Scream. Other than that, man, me, just, just throw Nash. some funny ha-has and just have fun in the chat. Calling. Well, hello again, Forrest. Don. Oh, it's Don. We played your song, Long Ride Home. Did you hear it? Can you tell us? Uh, never mind that now. Forrest, I'm calling because I need your help. Oh, now you need my help. Are you in danger? Oh, I sure am. Do you mean... Yes, he's after me now. You? I think so. He must have heard me on the radio helping you. Helping? You didn't exactly help. Maybe I've been helping more than you know. I was out following a lead, trying to work out who would be next. Well, you... After Chuck. Led me happened? to the bait. I started Whatever. to feel like I was being followed. I came back to my apartment building, but this... Newfangled security system has me locked out. I need you to help me get inside. You need a key? Don't you have a key to get in? Only for the apartment door. The front gate requires an entry code. Oh. The future is electronic, I guess. I need that code to get inside. Which apartment block do you live in? Maybe one of our listeners lives there too. It's the New Woodside Apartment Building. I doubt any of your listeners live there. You're in the basement. I don't have many neighbors. Sounds like a prime piece of real estate. The sound really carries at night. <laughs> Shit. Is that a neighbor's dog? Yes, it is. Boy, I wish he'd muscle that thing and oh. Hey. And now he's blasting David Scopo out of his window. But this night can't get any. The whistling man. It's coming down the street. I don't think he's seen me. Please, I need your help. I need the code for that security system, or I'm gonna die. Oh yeah, shit, the book that has all the code, yeah. What's the name of the security system? Uh, there's a Duh. sticker on the box. It says, Starling Security 4000. There's a keypad, and it looks like it wants a, a six-digit number. <sighs> we'll see what we can do. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Don't worry, Don. Thank you, Forrest. I knew I could count on you. I'll sit out of sight. Call me back soon. All right, folks. Here's a little tune for you all to enjoy while I try to break Don into her apartment. Coming up for your listening pleasure, it's Caged Tiger with their single, One Last Goodbye. You were pretty quiet there, Peggy. Forrest, was it just oh, me, me, or was there something? Yeah, it wasn't just you. Yeah, something wait, yeah. You would weird. know the code oh, to your apartment yeah. door. Well, tell you what. We or get front, whatever the fuck. Whatever. You know that. Clive bought one for the station. Maybe we can find something to help. Well, I'm not sure who, but to help someone. Monkey. Okay, so she's locked out of the Woodside Apartments, and somewhere, Clive probably has the papers for the Starling 4000. Uh, try to not help her? Yeah, I don't, yeah. I'm already at a point, dude, of not helping her, because you would know the fucking code to your apartment building. And whose apartment was she going to? Not, no, never mind. That's a stupid question. Is she? 
It's clearly not hers, but... Yeah, bitch, yeah, I left it back here. Starling 4000, user manual. There we go. Ah, these codes should come in handy. Onward to victory. Yeah. So looking at my codes here. Maintenance, alarm test warning, this will set off all... So do I want to... I don't want to give her the deactivation code. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. So that's what I'm saying. I should set off the alarm test one to... Okay. Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? The Starling 4000 security manual. It's got a bunch of codes. Good. And did you find anything else? Nothing, except the manual. Yeah, All right. So 19, well, 15, I'll 19. get Dom back on the line then, Forrest. I'll let you take right? it from here. Yeah. Thanks, Peggy. When you're ready, shut the music off. Line one, uh, whenever you're ready. Don, oh. are you there? This is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. Oh, thank God you're back. I've been so afraid. What's the code to the gate? So I want... Okay, so I don't have to... I didn't have to fucking remember the numbers. So yeah, just do the alarm... Right? Yeah, the alarm test activation code. The code is 191519. Thank you, Forrest. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was an ominous fucking thank you. Good luck, all the alarms are setting off. Cunt! Son of a bitch. Ah! Is she? Wait, that was Ricky's apartment because he's the one with the dog! This bitch was gonna kill Ricky! Yeah, stay out! Nobody disrespect the sanctity of the ring! Don't ever come back here again! Yeah, she I'll wasn't even in a fucking cops. apartment! Thank God! She was at. Hello? Fucking... Is someone there? Ricky, that was the dog. Get back inside and turn on the radio. Whoever that was, she was trying to break into the ring. She? Forrest, man, you got no idea. That was him. That was the whistling man. The alarm gave me just enough time to get my rifle. I don't like hurting folk, but I can't let anything happen to Maxie. Yeah, it's protect like Maxie. Spread. Maxie's a good boy. Listen, man, I'm heading back inside. I'm gonna barricade that window. My man, thank you. You and Peggy can skate for free whenever you want, forever. That's a done deal. I... Thanks, Ricky. Can't wait. You got it. My boy, Ricky! Okay, Gallows Creek. Here's some music. Let's fucking go! What you fuck happened. you, Dawn, in air quotes, cunt. Free scan! Woo! That. He almost made it. Trash! Alright, was I supposed to play a song? Play a record, Forrest. Okay. Um. No, let's play, uh. Get funky. Wait. Nah. No. God damn it. Now we're getting funky. So the whistling man is a woman? I know. I'm just saying that because I didn't know she that. She called up. You spoke to her multiple times. I knew she wasn't right. Is that right, Sherlock? Well, she wanted right, me to go out the song. fucking window. Well, not out the wind outside. To get me outside? Maybe, but how? She didn't know the song was outside to start with. That's right. She never actually attacked me out there. So? What now? I guess I should make an announcement. We do have new info. Okay, kill the music and you can make the announcement. Okay, you're live in three, two... Hey folks, this is Forrest Nash here. I hope you're all safely locked inside. For those of you listening to that last call, you might be wondering what to make of it all. Here's our take. We now believe the killer 
is actually a woman. One who might manipulate you into letting her in before she attacks you. We're neighbors. Look out for each other and stay safe. The killer was calling themselves Dawn. This could be a fake name. If anyone needs help or you have info on the killer, please call in. You folks have my new number, right? It's 911. Hopefully, our next caller can help shed some light on our killer.